Mm. It, it is incredible. This is like the best sausage that I've ever had. Oh, wow. Hi, this is Tanner, Rissa, and Willa. For the past nine months, we've been accomplishing a lifelong dream of ours to live internationally and make travel a consistent part of our life. Germany is our current home and one that we have loved exploring. In this video, we are trying our first German bratwurst in the city of Nuremberg. We've been anxiously waiting for this experience and can't wait to try them where the first documented evidence of bratwurst was found. Join us as we try them in a restaurant and then on the street. Good morning, everyone. This is Tanner and Willa. We are very excited for today's video. We are here in Nuremberg. We're going to be trying our first Nuremberger Bratwurst. In order for us to fully experience the different types of Nuremberger Bratwurst, we're going to be doing one in a restaurant like this and the next on the street. You guys, we have been in Germany for nine months and this is our first time trying one of these grilled Nuremberg Bratwurst. Seriously, this has been months and months of waiting and salivating and just planning for this trip and finally being able to make it happen. in 2003, the Nuremberg sausage was the first sausage in Europe to be designated as a protected geographical indication by the EU. And this seal confirms that all sausages declared as the Nuremberg grilled sausage must be manufactured within the city limits of Nuremberg according to this specified recipe. Only the most valuable part of the pig could be used for these sausages. Then they season it and they have to fit a certain criteria of size. So they have to be within seven to nine centimeters long and weigh 20 to 25 grams. So once they do that, then they are declared like a Nuremberg sausage. So it's really cool because if you're walking the streets of Nuremberg, you know that this sausage is going to be basically and essentially the same here in this restaurant versus another restaurant within the city limits or even the food carts. We're really excited to take it to the streets and the restaurant like Tanner said and kind of compare the two and just experience the different ways that they are presented. Our table is situated closest to the fire where they're cooking the sausages and I can smell that aroma. I'm so excited. So something that's really remarkable about these Nuremberg sausages is that they have been around for over 700 years. So these sausages are typically grilled in the restaurants over a beechwood fire, which gives them this amazing aroma as well as this crispy, nice layer on the outside. Typical side dishes with this are sauerkraut, potato salad, or a slice of bread. They smell heavenly. Mm. This is so delectable. The flavor is amazing. It, it is incredible. This is like the best sausage that I've ever had. Okay, so these are pretty dang little. The waiter was like, that's all you're getting is just six of them, which we got the side of sauerkraut as you can see. But as we told you guys, we're going to be trying some other foods today. So hence why we only got six of them. They just have this wonderful caramelized crisp edge. The inside's completely cooked through. The smell is incredible. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's like just spiced perfectly. It doesn't get take away from the meat. It's really, really good. You can like bite down and taste the juices that come out of it, the fat that just melts in your mouth. Why has it taken us so long to try this? So the bratwurst here were incredible. We're at the Historische Bratwurstküche. This place has been cooking sausages for hundreds of years and it's pretty incredible to see. They had a little book in there with pictures from the different times and just really amazing to see the old rustic 
kitchen-like area. You could see the flames right there where they were cooking the sausages, and it was just a really fun environment to be in. I am a little shy when I get around a lot of people in a tight space, and so I really didn't get to share a lot of how I was really feeling, but the sausages were incredible. There was a nice layer of crunch. The sauerkraut was some of the best that we've ever had. And we're really excited to go and try the street food option this next time to see which ones we think are better. So we've heard that there's a lot of bratwurst street carts here in this area. So we're just going to go and come across one and, and try out one that looks good to us. But in the meantime, we're going to enjoy strolling along the streets and just taking in Nuremberg. It didn't take long for us to find a bratwurst stand. Here is what it looks like. We've got the bun and then three little sausages inside. They again have that crispy layer and crunch on the outside so they look really good. They fit perfectly within this bun and they also have ketchup and mustard available there for you to squirt on, put the amount that you want on it. I'm gonna try it without that at first and then we'll go and get some mustard. So we ordered two of these. Willa's over here. She's almost done with hers. The roll has not been touched at all. She's loving the sausages. I'm excited to get in before it gets cold. Let's go. I need some mustard or something to help get that down. I'm reminded of a hot dog a little bit in this one just because it has that bun with it. So it's like very similar to American hot dog with the sausage inside of the bread. That's why it takes me back on that. But the sausage is far, far. It's not even comparable. It's much better. That bread gives it a good crunch. I think I prefer it just plain though because obviously I taste that bread so it takes away from the sausage flavor. I prefer to have them plain and I'm almost wishing I had sauerkraut on here as well with it. Just something else in here but it is a really wonderful street food. I can see why there's a lot of carts around here and why it is a favorite. The cart that we went to was packed. People were coming and going very very frequently so we can see why it's a fan favorite. It's just easy. You can take it on the go as you're walking and just exploring around the city. So we didn't realize how busy it was, but we're standing right next to the escalators that go down to the subway system, so we might have picked a better location next time, but this was like the only bench available, so I'm ready to dig in. Based on Marissa's expression, I'm really looking forward to this. Mm. Oh yeah. Oops. Yeah, this is really good flavor. Oddly enough, I think these have a little bit of a different taste to them, but it easily could be because it is with a buchin and not because it's a different recipe like you heard before. It should be all the same ingredients, but obviously the age of the meat might have a play into that, but incredible. I agree, I could use something else on this, like a little sauce, a little mustard. That'd be really well. Great overall. All right, now this time we put a, a lot of mustard on this. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wow. That has a lot of horseradish in that mustard. Ooh. I was expecting just a very sharp mustard, but really good. I'm not a horseradish fan, to be honest, but that may have been the best horseradish mustard I've ever had. So I don't like horseradish, so no, <laughs> I don't know what to think, but I'm gonna go for it. Let's see. The horseradish is a bit too strong for me. I would prefer it was probably a milder mustard. Well, I know that I would. Still something that I could eat. Wouldn't be my first choice though, but the, the meat inside is mm. Now I just know next time, have to have a different sauce to go with it. I can tell though it made it easier to bite and to chew with the sauce on though, so I'd still recommend putting something on with it.
So we just wanted to stop a second to show you guys our new backpack that we got from Mark Ryden. We've been looking for a more compact, sleek backpack, and this one fits the mold. We've got lots of different zippers to put all of our camera gear, our snacks for Willow, etc. It's been really good to have so far. If you want to check it out, go ahead. There's a link in our description where you can go and see one for yourself. As you guys could tell, there were a lot of people still enjoying the food markets that have been out here. And even though the Christmas markets have been closed for the season, we've really enjoyed getting to see a little taste of Nuremberg. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you haven't already, and we'll see you next video.